Continuing onwards on our road of Game Boy Advance mediocrity, from DSi Games comes another compilation cartridge, this time featuring Atari Classic Arcade Games Gauntlet and Rampart. Kind of an interesting choice there to pair these two up together, as the obvious move would have been to make a compilation cartridge comprising Gauntlet and Gauntlet 2. But yeah, two distinctly different games on one cart, so you're bound to like at least one of them, or both of them, or none of them, I guess. Anyway, a quick refresher of each game. Gauntlet places you in control of one of four heroes, Warrior, Valkyrie, Wizard, or Elf. Your main objective is to navigate the labyrinths while fighting off monsters, collecting keys to unlock doors and chests, and plundering loot, all the while searching for the exit to move on to the next level. All the while, your health is slowly withering away like a timer, and each fatal blow deducted from that timer until it reaches zero and you ultimately expire. For the most part, Gauntlet looks, sounds, and plays the part. Controls fairly straightforward, D-pad for movement, A button for shots, B button for casting screen clearing magic, and it all works well enough. Runs at a nice quick pace, and even with a swarm of enemies on screen, there's not much in terms of slowdown. The game starts you off with 9,999 hit points, and that gives you enough time to get through the first few levels or so. No way of recovering that health beyond food. No coins or credits to insert, probably for the best in this regard. In terms of visuals, Gauntlet looks like a dead ringer for the arcade game, managing to replicate all the art and sprite work of the source material. Even with a lower screen resolution resulting in reduced visibility of the playfield, the visuals are still close enough that they, they look good. Even sound effects and a few voice bites have been ported over with relative ease, although the sound in general seems a bit higher pitched than usual. The one caveat to this portable version of Gauntlet is the lack of multiplayer functionality that made this game a real fun time to be had. As a single player game, it can eventually get overwhelming and repetitive after a while, but it's alright, more or less. The true fun to be had with Gauntlet is four people banding together against an almost endless number of enemies, fighting over food and pickups working together to progress deeper into the Gauntlet. Without that feature, it's just a single player plot fest. And I normally don't mind single player Gauntlet, in, in that regard it works fine, but multiplayer is what makes Gauntlet a fun experience more than anything. As it is, it's fine, but really lacking and needing that multiplayer part. Rampart is a game that's part action and part strategy. The action part comes from lobbing cannonballs at invading ships and tanks. The strategy part comes from building walls to better defend your castle, conquering a neighboring castle, or even trap a tank, in theory. Although I've not played much Rampart, so the game I could never really get into. From what I can gather, visuals and sounds are fairly recreated well. Looking and sounding the part for the most part. Control over your cursor and your firepower is about as well as you expect. Not much else to say in that regard. Again, the multiplayer aspect where up to four players could duel against each other is lost, but there's some other oddities as well, such as the lag that occurs during the wall repair segments where you would place a piece in place and it takes about a second before you, this, the piece of wall actually forms. You're only allowed to install two cannons after each round and tanks will continue to attack even when trapped in walls, which isn't supposed to be the case in the arcade original. Other than that, it plays alright for the most part, but... Yeah, I gotta admit, Rampart's not really my thing, and I'm guessing this version is not quite the best ambassador to the game. Uh, time to pull out the old compilation, I suppose. Yeah, on a whole, Gauntlet plays alright, I guess. Rampart, not so much. And without multiplayer for either game... <sighs> no thanks.